Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. I'm your host, your friend Roy. You know, my friends, we are talking about series 6 now, which um, uh, title is Lines and Angles. This is our episode number 4, and today's topic is Parallel Lines and Transversal. You have seen, friends, our last episode, in episode 3, we talked about a pair of lines and transversal. But today, friends, we are going to talk about specifically, if we have parallel lines, two parallel lines and a transversal, then we will see a few things. So I'm taking those the angles formed when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. And then those are we are going to uh, today see a very important axiom. Ab kamalam those axioms ka matlab hai basically Euclid ne unhone first and he used the word axiom and postulate. Axiom means assumptions uh, which are specific to um, overall mathematics. Or postulates ka matlab assumptions which are very specific to geometry. So ask those we are going to talk about if you have two parallel lines and if you have a transversal, then uh, what are different angles that are formed? And then we are going to talk about one very important axiom, which is regarding this parallel lines and transversals. So, those let us get started. Now, first and foremost, those uh, we parallel line draw parallel line. So, you ask how do you draw a parallel line, right? So, in your notebook, mein, you will have lines like this marked, right? So, you take a ruler, a scale, you draw a straight line on any of these lines and then you leave a few lines and after that, you draw a line like this. So, these two lines, let us call them in this case, uh, line, let's call it line L and let's call it line M. So, L and M are two parallel lines. Right? So, you can draw a parallel line like this on your uh, notebook. Now, those are what we want to do now. Abhi, uh, now that we have our parallel lines, we have a transversal draw. Now, from last episode, we talked about it. Transversal ka matlab hai, basically any straight line that actually cuts uh, any uh, two or more lines at distinct points. Right? So, this is our parallel lines L and M. And hum aise karke, we will draw a transversal. Transversal, let us just call it transversal P. Right? So this transversal actually cuts line L at chale isse kehte hai point A and it cuts line M at point B. So here is our transversal P which is intersecting line L at A and line M at B. Now at this point friends, uh, what are the different angles that are formed? So, you can see these are your four angles, right? Just like we saw in the last presentation, mein, we have, uh, you know, angle, chale, inhe, let us number them, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4. Similarly, you have angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, and angle 8. So, ye art angle banti hai, dosto, when our transversal P intersects two parallel lines, L and M. Now, friends, what are we going to do? We are going to do a, a small experiment. And you will see, friends, how important this experiment is. So, let's do a job. Now, the experiment is this, friends. Let us measure all angles and see what we find. So, we will start first angle 2. 1, 2. This was our angle 2. 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? This was our L. And this was our M. This is our line P. And we, we are given that line L is parallel to line M. This is what we know. And we have drawn a transversal P. So, friends, we will measure each angle. Ko, jo total art angle hai, we will measure it. So, aap, if you measure angle 2 and 6 first, aap dekhiye, what do you find? Uh, please go ahead and do this exercise. Aap video ko, video ko pause karke. Uh, you can actually do this exercise as we are discussing this. Uske baad, dosto, what we will do is, now we will take angle 1 and angle 2, 3, 4, 5. Aap dekh rahe ho, dosto, we are actually taking the corresponding angles. Right? 2 and 6 are corresponding angles. Then abhi we want to measure angle 1 and angle 5. And dosto, let us see what we find. Right? Uske baad, dosto, what we are going to do, is that now we will continue to measure the rest of the corresponding angles. Abhi we are going to measure, this is angle 3, 
5, 6. This is angle 7. Now we are going to measure angle 3 and angle 7. And finally, friends, what we are going to do is we are going to measure the last two remaining uh, corresponding angles, angle 4 and angle 8. So, dosto, agar aap ye measure karte ho, and, and so what we want to do at, at this point, friends, is that you should actually have values of angle 1 is equal to how much, angle 2 is equal to how much, angle 3 is equal to how much, angle 4 equals to how much. Similarly, you have angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, and angle 8. So, at this point, dosto, you should have values for all of these eight angles because aap ne, aap ke notebook mein you have drawn the parallel lines and aap, you can draw any transversal that you feel like and then abhi we want you to measure all of these angles so art angle hamari bani hai, let us measure it so, so what do you see so aap ek cheez dekho ke, dosto. remarkably you will see that you will find angle 1 ye wali angle is exactly equal to angle 5 ये जो एंगल 1 है आपकी इट विल बी एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू एंगल 5 देन आप देखोगे एंगल 2 इज एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू एंगल 6 2 एंड 6 आर इक्वल सिमिलरली आप देखोगे दोस्तों एंगल 3 इज एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू एंगल 7 एंड फाइनली यू विल सी एंगल 4 इज एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू एंगल 8 इसका मतलब है दोस्तों ये जो वैल्यूज है दिस वैल्यूज विल बी एग्जैक्टली आइडेंटिकल अगर आप ठीक से मेजर करते हो यू विल नोटिस दिस सो दोस्तों व्हाट दिस मींस इज अगर हमें दो पैरेलल लाइन दिए जाते हैं एल एंड एम और इफ वी हैव एनी ट्रांसवर्सल वी हैव रैंडमली ड्रॉन दिस ट्रांसवर्सल आप इसके वजह से इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग इट दिस वे यू कुड हैव ड्रॉन अ ट्रांसवर्सल गोइंग समथिंग लाइक मान लीजिए लाइक दिस या एनी ट्रांसवर्सल इफ यू वुड हैव ड्रॉन and then humne dekha dosto the corresponding angles we measured aapko malum hai dosto from last video so 2 and 6 are corresponding angle pairs 4 and 8 are corresponding angle pairs 1 and 5 and 3 and 7 these are corresponding angles to humne dekha very interestingly all corresponding angles are equal or each of the each of the pair of corresponding angles they are all equal now dosto this actually leads us to our to our third axiom in this series which is if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of corresponding angles is equal aapko malum hai dosto these axioms are very very important because these are the absolute basic assumptions which are always true so jab kabhi aapko koi bhi problem koi bhi question di jati hai you absolutely need to know ki what are these assumptions so, this means that if a transversal if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, we have L and M. If we are given any two parallel lines such that L is parallel to M and we have any transversal in this case, chale, let us call it P. If it intersects the two parallel lines, then each of these corresponding angles, angle 1, ke this angle, angle 5, angle 2, ke angle 6, angle 3 ke saath angle 7 and angle 4 ke saath angle 8 they will be always equal so dosto ye aapko definitely yaad rakhni hai ki if a transversal intersects two parallel lines each pair of corresponding angles is equal now similarly dosto iski jo exact opposite that is also true that is maan lijiye if a transversal intersects two lines two lines parallel hai malum nahi such that a pair of corresponding angles is equal then two lines are parallel to each other so in this case also ye hai hamari axiom 4 so axiom 4 is basically a, a kind of reverse way of saying axiom 3 so axiom 3 mein hame kaha gaya tha we were given ki l and m chaliye ye hai hamari l and ye hai hamari m Axiom 3 mein hume diya gaya tha, if you quickly take a look at it. Yahaan pe we were given ki L and M are parallel. So, agar L or M parallel hai, then each of these corresponding angles, 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 4, 8, they will be equal. 
और अभी दोस्तों व्हाट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इज दैट अगर हमें मालूम नहीं एल और एम पैरल है या नहीं वी डू नॉट नो दिस लेकिन वी हैव अ ट्रांसवर्सल पी इट इज कटिंग लाइन एल एंड एम इन सच ए वे दैट मान लीजिए कोई वन पेयर जैसे कि मान लीजिए टू एंड सिक्स सो ओनली टू एंड सिक्स आर इक्वल अगर अगर इफ इवन वन पेयर ऑफ कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल अगर इक्वल होती है इट मीन्स दैट एल इट मीन्स दैट एल इज पैरल टू एल सो यहां पर दोस्तों हमें दिया गया है मान लीजिए इन दिस केस एंगल टू इज इक्वल टू एंगल सिक्स अगर ऐसा होता है दोस्तों देन इट मीन्स दैट टू लाइन्स आर पैरल टू इच अदर सो दोस्तों नाउ एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू मूव ऑन टू द सब्सिक्वेंट वेबिसोड एंड वहां पर ईच वेबिसोड में वी आर गोन स्टार्ट बेसिकली मेकिंग वी आर गोन टू प्रूव सम ऑफ द थियोरम्स सो दिस वॉज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दोस्तों बिकॉज ये जो आज हमने सीखी है कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स आर इक्वल जब आप एक पेयर ऑफ पैरल लाइन्स लेते हो एंड यू हैव अ ट्रांसफर्सल दैट कट्स दैम इसे दोस्तों वी कॉल इट कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल एक्शियम नाउ अभी सब्सिक्वेंटली जब हम वेबिसोड uh, देखेंगे वहां पे वी विल यूज दिस बेसिक फंडामेंटल एग्जामेशन वाइल वी प्रूफ ईच ऑफ दोस्त थियोरम्स सो दोस्तों इस वेबिसोड में इतना ही अगले वेबिसोड में फिर मिलेंगे तब तक के लिए शुक्रिया धन्यवाद